friends, happy to have you here in the makeup room for a little tour. I am joining you right now from my hot pink chair. That's one of my pops of color in the room. <laughs> you may have noticed over the past couple of months, a lot has changed in this room, not just the pink color, but I've switched some things around just decor wise and the whole placement of my desk where I sit, where I shoot my videos, that's all changed. So I wanted to show you around a little bit. It's not 100% completed. It's really, really hard, I find, in decor to feel like, yes, I'm at a place where where I'm 100% satisfied and I'm not going to change a thing because there are certainly some things I'm still going to be, you know, looking for and tweaking a little bit. But what I've got going on in this room, I am by far the happiest I have ever been with any makeup setup. And if you've been with my channel for a while, you've seen it go through a lot of transformations. I mean, the apartment days where it was like a brown closet in the background, and then we had the hot pink room in the old house, and then coming to this house, I went through, you know, my Pepto bismol pink phase, we'll call it that. And now in here we've got these lighter walls and it really, I think, plays with the camera a little bit better, although I am going to still be making some lighting changes just equipment-wise. I'm going to be getting some different lights in here. And I'll show you, by the way, at the end of the video what the setup looks like when my lights are back in here. But anyway, I'll try to point out, you know, where some things came from. If I forget, feel free to ask in the comments section. I'll also try to share as much as I can in the info box as well with some specific but uh, let's take a look around. The biggest change that I noticed about this room is all the floor space open in here now because this L-shaped desk used to be pulled um, right over to this area and it was out from that window a little bit. I had my uh, drawers pulled back a few feet this way and so I had this just little like gap of carpet space you know between the table and that window so everything was just kind of chunked over in this area so we pushed the desk back against that wall and centered up here between the two windows hi here I am in my PJ shorts and shirt the artwork on the wall here by my sister I love this painting by the way with the gold and stuff it actually is just so perfect with this room with the you know black and pink and gold accents those black cords those are part of the accent. No, just kidding. I got to deal with those. But um, you got space over here on that side of the table and also here as well. I've still got my Ikea drawers underneath the desk, which is a, a big part of my makeup storage. And I've got these over here as well. So these shifted down the wall a little bit. Still got my little like starburst mirror thing there. So I thought I'd pull this table underneath. And one of my most recent additions to the makeup room is this pink chair. I got it on hand needle.com and I love just the fun pop of color in here. You guys know I still love my pink. Even though pink's not on my walls, it still lives in this room very much. So I've got that little gold pillow there from Five Below. But I just think that makes for a fun little more um, homey feel to this room. Because while this is kind of a studio setting in a way, it still is very much a room in my home and I want it to stay that way. My makeup storage, by the way, has changed up a ton. Um, I, it was kind of unintentional. I just started weeding things out once the new room was in place and I pared down a lot. I got rid of so much stuff and I mean anybody would look at the pile of stuff I got rid of and say, dang that's a lot, but I still want to pare down even more so I think what you're going to see on my channel coming up is kind of a series, and it may be kind of broken up, but some declutter videos here. Um, I've been asked to do those a lot, and I do declutter on a regular basis, but I just haven't shot it for a video. But I feel like we're kind of at a fun stage of the game here where I can show you how my storage has changed, and in the process, get rid of some stuff too and give myself a little more space. But while I'm pointed over here at this wall, what's going on here, I've got another little few drawers, and those are holding a lot of like PR type stuff, um, things that are kind of coming into my collection faster than I have a chance to look at them, so they're kind of on standby in those drawers. I've got my empties bin there, which is holding a few makeup bags at the moment. These are my IKEA drawers. Absolutely love these. Uh, they're one of the best ways to store makeup. That's why you see them so often, I'm sure, in collection videos and stuff like that. And this is some of the stuff you're currently seeing in my backdrop. Um, I think you can expect this to change probably seasonally, but I really like having an element of gold in this room. It's just kind of become the theme. I didn't really even intend for it to be that way, but once everything in this room just kind of switched around, I saw what pieces I had and I thought, yes, this sort of, you know, white stuff, the wall being what it is, which is just a little bit off-white. It's Valspar cream in my coffee, by the way, or is it cream in your coffee? 
I think it's cream in my coffee, <laughs> but that's the pink color. And then we got all this black and gold, so I'm feeling that very much. But I've got some Besame stuff here because that really fits the vibe. I've got a little picture there. Ceramic cacti. Yes, love those. That was a TJ Maxx find. Um, this little table back behind me, this has always been here in this place. I put a clock up here as well, by the way. Um, this is not what I want to stay here. I'd rather get more of a furniture looking table here, something maybe that has some drawers to it so I can actually use it storage wise. But I got a little picture of Baby Eve there for now, some flowers that I probably won't keep there. Love my e mug from my girl Erica. Yeah, that little area will be changing. This is a nice closet there. This area of this room is so unique. I love how it's got this notch back here, and this has always been kind of my office nook. And I haven't changed that really much. I mean, I have gotten rid of the iMac that used to sit back here because I just found I wasn't using this as a real editing space most of the time. I really find myself just editing wherever the heck I can. But I do have the opportunity here just with my laptop, which is what I primarily work on. I can sit it down there or just do whatever I want in this area. I got my little bulletin board, whiteboard there, bookshelf with some gorgeous makeup books, makeup is art, my Dita Von Tees book. I really love having this tall bookcase here. There's me and Bub on this little shelf. A lot of times I've got like a light just sitting over against that wall. I've got this picture. This was me in the old makeup room that was kind of bright pink. And I'm planning to get a gold frame around this one, which I think is really going to tie in nicely. My zebra bench with some stuff stored under it. Yes, stuff. It exists. I live here. This little stand that the TV is on. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, I had this way back in the apartment. It was just kind of given to us by our landlord at the time, and I have since painted it white. Uh, I believe I did that when we were in the old house, and I've kept it around because it's just perfect for the TV, and now I have really um, repurposed this, I guess, for what it's storing. Down the bottom, I've got a bunch of different face masks and skincare things. I'm storing those in a letter holder that Kristen Game gave me, and I love that. It's really working great for not only palettes, but now face masks. Um, this is my nail stuff. I have pared down a pretty big nail polish collection to just this much. You guys may have noticed I rarely do my nails anymore, but I'm keeping around just the shades that I really, really like. I'm just not in a big nail doing season of my life right now with two little kids, but I'll get back to it eventually. Got some fragrances here in that level. And then this little twisty turny thing. I just have cute stuff, you know, like really pretty pieces. Um, I've also got some smaller perfume fumes and stuff up top. I've always been looking for the perfect place to house that little turntable storage thingy and it seems to be that top shelf. So this is where I sit to do my videos and my chair is usually turned about like that. So I'm looking off in this direction. This is where my ring light sits and I've got two softbox lights on either side. Um, and I've got a few things out here because this is kind of just what it looks like on a regular basis. There's coffee mugs, remote controls, stuff. You see right in here I've got my little brush turntable thing. I'm kind of keeping that poked behind the mirror just a little bit. I've got some more brushes in that gold thing. Those are my eye brushes. I've got a lot of surface area to work with here and this is just a lot of times where items sit that I'm currently using, currently testing, don't want to tuck them away and forget about them. Palettes that I'm using and enjoying kind of rotate through that basket. I need to empty my trash. You see that down there? I kind of wish the lighting would have been a little bit more natural light coming through the window for this video, but it is kind of early when I shoot this, so we're seeing some overhead light. And by the way, this picture, I believe this is available as a print. If anybody wanted this amazing makeup watercolor in their makeup room or just any in their house. My sister gave me this and that's the original. She gave that to me a couple Christmases ago, but if you go to her website, um, you can get that. And you can get all kinds of prints of her artwork too, which is all over our house and we just love it. But yeah, I am so enjoying this makeup room, guys. This is just a happy place. This is a wonderful space to get to spend my mornings oftentimes. And this is also a place that Belle has enjoyed coming into and getting to poke around. And I'm sure that will only increase as she gets older. And heck, I've got enough floor space here. You know, I've laid out blankets, put Eve down on it, and you can turn something on the TV. There's room for so many activities on this floor. Like we could bring in Twister, we could pull in a table and eat around it. I mean, there is space for stuff to happen in this room again.
in. So I'm really, really glad that the overall layout has changed, not just to make it better to shoot my videos, but just a better space to live in as well. So this is what it looks like with my lights in here. Um, typically I leave that one up just for convenience sake, like when I'm not using them, I turn them off and that stays sitting there. The ring light sits right over here at the corner of the table and then this one I just pick up and uh, stick back in here somewhere. But yes, bright, bright, bright. I think what I want to do is maybe get some softbox lights or some other kind of side or back lighting that is just a little bit um, slightly warmer in color temperature. I am obviously no lighting expert, but I feel like, um, I don't know, everything will look a little more natural, like actually what I see in real life if those lights were just a little bit warmer. And this is my view when I shoot videos. My camera sits right on this tripod type thing that's attached to the ring light. So thank you guys so much for taking time to watch this video. I hope it was interesting to see a little bit more inside my space. I tried to give you the best sense that I could of what's going on in here. Again, kind of a work in progress. If you want to see like some updates as I continue to tweak things in here, let me know and I will most definitely be taking you through what's in some of these drawers, going through the storage, and just doing a little bit of a declutter on some things that have been decluttered once, but this next round will be like, I think I'm literally going to call it no mercy makeup declutter because we're really going to pare some things down. So anyway, thank you guys again and I will see you soon. Bye!